Hi everyone, Dr. Blake Bloxham from Feller and Bloxham Medical and I'm here today to do another episode of Scar Search. So this is where we show the results of uh, not necessarily the hair transplant that we did but the resulting scarring from the procedure. Today's case is a gentleman in his uh, late 20s. He came and saw us two years prior for a procedure. Uh, at that point in time we did a 2400 graft FUT procedure to do the frontal half of his scalp. He had pretty advanced hair loss and he came back in last week to do the back and a little, little bit more in the front. Uh, so let's jump right in here and look at the results of his scar about two years after a 2400 graft FUT. Okay, so first thing we'll do here is just scan the donor. You can see we're going to work in the back there today. And I'm going to start combing through here. You'll get to do the scar right there. Good. So what I want you to pay attention to here, look at those gaps in his hair and how they look relative to the scar. You can see that he doesn't necessarily have the densest donor. He has nice hair, uh, but there are gaps in between his hairs. And even with those gaps, and you'll get a good look at them here, yeah, see how gappy the donor is there, how much space there is between his hairs? Even with those gaps, um, and in comparison to the size of the scar, the scar is just it's, it's not bad. I measured the scar out, it is exactly one millimeter. Um, so one millimeter incision line and for that scar he got a 2400 strip quality grafts and he now has excellent excellent donor to go in and do the second surgery and we did a second one of roughly the same size about 2000 grafts or so but even with the gaps um, you can see it's a, it's a great little scar he'd be able to go much shorter back there and there are always things that he can do in the future if he wants to he could treat it with uh, grafts into it using the FUE technique he could do some SMP to break it up not that I think he would need to before that he got a 2400 strip quality grafts and now he's able to come back and we know he has the donor left to do a second one, which is what he's doing today. Okay, so thank you for watching the video. I hope those considering an FUT procedure uh, specifically enjoyed this. This is what your scar may look like. I would say this is a, a good to average one of our strip scars. Uh, so please stay tuned for more. I am Dr. Blake Bloxham from Feller & Bloxham Medical. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing to the channel.